Hey guys, well as you should know if you've been keeping up with the channel, I was away at the weekend and I got some stuff for free from my mate. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all this kind of stuff, um, but I've got an idea. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, so like I said in the intro, I was away at the weekend, I was visiting friends and I also managed to pick up some technology. Um, wasn't expecting to pick anything up, but I got some stuff and I got to wondering, what am I going to do with it? So I have an idea that I might build a LAN box. Um, so first of all, what did I get? So I got a 7870, an Asus 7870. Um, it's a bit of a weird one, this card. So it knows it gets power, the fans spin up, everything spins up, but there's no output from the HDMI port. So I'm thinking the HDMI port's buggered on this. I mean, I've taken it apart. It looks fine. It doesn't look like there's um, any burnt out components on it or anything like that. I've reapplied thermal paste, etc, etc. So I need to test that out. And more importantly, I got this. So I got this, guys, which is a little MATX board from Asus, which isn't the best board in the world, but it's okay. 8 gigs of RAM in it. And more importantly, there's an AMD FX8120 in it. Now, I know that's not the best chip in the world, but... I think for a LAN box, it would be ideal. Um, that board, I've looked at that board online, so I know it will support a mild overclock to around about 3.94 gigahertz, which is fine for an FX 8120. Eight gigs of RAM is fine. If I can get that GPU to work, that's great. So that's two massive components, the most of the PC done. Um, because really, what I'm, what I'm, what, what I want is I want a little small form factor PC that when I go and visit people or I'm away traveling, I can take with me. I might do a bit of light editing on it, but it's mainly going to be for LAN gaming and things like that. So mainly 1080p medium settings gaming. And I think that CPU with eight gigs of RAM, that 8120 with eight gigs of RAM, and that Asus um, Radeon 7870 will be absolutely fine even now for. Um, 1080p gaming. Um, so I've made a few decisions. So I'm looking at power supplies at the moment. Um, I know I'm going to water cool the CPU just because it's going to be in a, an enclosed space. I want most of the, the clean air going to the GPU, not to the CPU cooling. Um, so that's it guys. Project Landbox, um, which is probably going to be going on for the next few months. I'd quite like to have it done um, by the beginning of November. It gives me time to find parts. Um, and and also to source parts that don't work at the moment. Um, well, I know the motherboard works, but I might change it. There's an ASRock board that has a better VRM on it. Um, but I'm not sure about that yet, guys. I need to get this on the test bed, but I don't have a spare, um, I don't have a spare power supply at the moment. So I'm looking into getting a, a cheap Antec one um, from eBay. But like I said, that's all gonna happen in the future, guys. So this is gonna be a series that's kind of probably spread out over a few months with sporadic episodes but this this is just to plant the seed in your head um i kind of don't want to spend more than about 300 pounds and i think that would be a really good return on money money to get a lamb box for 300 quid and like i said 1080p at um, medium settings i think this thing will rock 60 fps solid no bother so guys that's it just a little update um i hope you enjoyed the video hope you're enjoying the new content if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you aren't new to the channel, don't forget to share all the great content. We need to get that sub count up. And I'll catch you again in another great tech video. Bye.